We are nine months into the pandemic, and a new study is looking at some of the pandemic's long-term impacts on people's lives, particularly those that are positive. First, across the board, people are disinfecting more at home, Next, they're also spending more time cooking at home rather than eating out. People have also gotten used to working out at home with a lot of you out there building your own home gyms. And finally, Americans are getting used to having their groceries delivered. So the question is, DBL Nation, we want to hear from you as well. How has the pandemic changed your life for the better? Now, it's important to note, of course, this pandemic has caused so much pain right. and trauma and death, and uh, we do not take that lightly here. But it's also uh, important to look at the silver lining, and I even hesitate saying that considering the uh, the grand scale of this pandemic. But why? Why? Because it's just, it, it's, I mean, it's affected so many of us, right? I had a very but close it, family member almost die from COVID. I've had uh, friends uh, lose their businesses. We almost lost our candle business. But you're right. You should be able to always try and look at silver linings. And there... In any situation, you should look for the silver lining. And I'm not taking this, not, I'm not not taking it seriously, the pandemic, I mean. You always have to look for the silver lining. Bad is always gonna happen to you, right? There, this is a terrible thing that's happening, but you have to always look at the positive, no matter what situation. I didn't see my parents for Christmas. I know I didn't lose anybody, thank God, but I had to take, I had to make sacrifices as well, just like everybody else out there. I'm not happy with the way things are going, but I am happy with the way I set up my life in 2020. I got a brand new house. I shot a movie during the pandemic. I got to do so many house projects. I'm very happy with what happened in my personal life for 2020. And I shouldn't be ashamed to say there isn't a silver lining to a bad situation because you should always think that way. I think for me, it's it's very complicated because when you have someone and our, our family's going through that now, um, there's, there is a sense of you you are helpless in a completely different way because like even in the beginning like there's been so many different things that have happened we realized like when someone was stricken or the whole family was stricken with covid like okay well let me let me fly well i can't do that let me well let me set i, I can't do that let me offer what well, th that doesn't help like that is what people what, what's happening for people and I, I want to be mindful of that i want to be respectful of that um, i do also want to acknowledge that this is going to be um, a very pivotal year for a lot of people in a positive way because anytime there is a setback especially a global setback as we've experienced that's also when you get new entrepreneurs you get right. new people who are um, coming up with innovative ways to do things differently and i do think that we should really look at that as well because that's something that we're going to see what 2020 did for some of us the same way positively as we're going to see what 2020 did for a lot of us negatively. See, I think we can have a nuanced conversation. That's why I love the show. I think we can have duality of thought and say, listen, this has been a really hurtful, crappy, horrific year. But at the same token, I got to spend more time with my family. I had a baby. You bought a house. You, there's a lot of people out there that are it's forcing them to create new innovation. So yes, and for the first time ever, the world is in something together, right? Like globally, we are in something together. So there is some positives to look at. Brandon, can you look back at this year and somehow carve out uh, a silver lining? Have you been able to do that? Or what have you done that's kind of changed your ways for the good because of the pandemic? I think this theme for me, Sam, you know, has, has been appreciation. I've had, I've been forced to be appreciative of, of this year. And I can't look at someone and, and tell them, hey, you should, you should feel this way because I don't know and I didn't experience that level of pain that the next person felt when dealing with 2020 and all that it threw at them. But for me, being able to speak for myself, I think it's about, it, it was all about our appreciation and learning that I was running away from things that I had to take care of within myself internally and I was trying to use work or I was trying to use social situations and relationships to distract me from that. So I think it like Erica said is when you're when you're faced with 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 something like this it makes you look inside and it, there's a boom, there's a growth that happens right. in a lot of us. 
And I'm so glad that that happened to me personally this year. Amen. People are writing you in that won. they've been forced to, I know, giving me chills, but people are writing in they've been forced to slow down. They've been forced to, you know, spend time with family and they didn't realize that that's exactly what they needed. So, uh, yeah, there's, you can yeah, always why, look at a silver lining. And I love that Brandon said that. I know we've got to move on to the next story, but it's people are so quick to throw the negative on top of someone that's trying to be positive, right? And th that's got to go away in 2021 because 2020 had the Black Lives Matter. There's so many great things for so many people in the midst of all the negativity. You always have to find that silver lining and go ahead and write in and say, I was going to swear, but be positive. Take a little thing on my head <laughs> and do you in 2021. <laughs> 2020 has been a challenging year to say the least. We want to thank you for spending your time with us. From all of us here at DBL, we want to wish you a happy holiday and a healthy new year.